Kuna rules na pia kuna regulations ambazo zinapatiana. And uh, for those of us who join form 1 uh, there are do and don'ts. Unapoingia katika institution ambayo ni mpya kuna vitu unaambiwa you need to do this you don't need to do to do that. And uh, I remember um uh, wakati nilikuwa na join first year kuna kitu inaitangwa ma matriculation ceremony and uh, this ceremony is to invite the first years campus and uh, it's usually like a whole week event from monday and then on friday inakuwa ni climax unakuwa na, na, na kama feast mnakula and so on the first day, second day, uh, it's just the same thing. To Nashinda to Kiambiwa. Being welcome to the campus. You are supposed to do this. Uh, you are supposed to avoid doing this. It's just a way of making us to kuwe na an easy time wakati ambapo tutakuwa hale campus. And therefore, to naona that uh, at Chapter 19, God called Moses, and anamwambia aje, may you tell these people that they are my chosen people, that they are my royal priesthood. They are la, our own nation. Waeze kujua hivo. Generally, they must be able to set themselves apart. Lazimu ajimik holy. They must sanctify themselves. They must consecrate, uh, consecrate themselves for the sake of who? For the sake of God. And therefore, to honor that the whole thing that was happening, God was preparing them so that they could be able to do it. They could be able to listen to the words of God. And therefore, to honor that day by day, God is speaking to us through His word. Kila wakati, Mungu wana tuzungumzia. Kupitia nini? And therefore, it's very important. Even if we are experiencing an issue, even if we are going through a crisis within our life, the most important thing, we will be able to enter at a point where we are able to grab hold, to work with the word of God all the day of our lives. And therefore, to know that it's very important for us to be sure. Sure of what? The stream of God's word. And what is the stream of God's word? When God says this, he must fulfill it. God absolutely fulfills his word. That is the stream of the word of God. When you look from the book of Genesis to the end of Revelation, there is one thing that is constant, that God always fulfills his word. And uh, when you look at the beginning, when he called uh, Abraham, and I'm here, Abraham, that leave your people. And I, I want you to go to somewhere that I'm going to show you. And through that place, I'm going to turn you to become a father of the nation. Your ancestors or uh, your descendants, sorry, are going to be like stars in the sky. Can you be able to count stars in the sky? Yeah. No. They are going to be like dust. That is the promise of God. At the first point, it looks uh, unbelievable for Abraham. Then, as it goes on, God and Amonia, that I'm going to take uh, your descendants to Egypt, and they are going to be enslaved there for 400 years. And then I'm going to do what? I'm going to get them out. And to now honor the events taking place in the book of Exodus. After being enslaved for 400 years, they come out of Egypt. And they are going to go back where? To the promise, the promised land. It goes on and on and on. The most important thing is the stream of this word of God. And uh, when you look at the word 
the word given in the wilderness. The word that God gave in the wilderness. And uh, we are talking about Moses here. When you look at Midian, it was an opportunity for him. Uh, God gave the word through Jethro, who was uh, the father-in-law of who? Of Moses. Even though, to that Moses grew in the palace, but for the for his five or for, for his first early years, he was imprinted with the word of God. He was imprinted with the covenant because of who? Because of his mother Jochebed. He was the one. She was the one who was taking care of, of him. But to Naona, in media, it became an opportunity for Moses to do what? To imprint the word of God. Also, when you look at uh, the moment he went to Mount Horeb, the burning bush, it was an opportunity for him to believe in the word of God. God and Amwambi Aji, do not be afraid because I'm going to be with you. So, usiyo gope, kwa sababu ya nini? Itakuwa na wana. And now, tunawana, is that Mount Sinai. Ameleke Mount Sinai. And uh, uh, here at Mount Sinai is the moment where God gives the Ten Commandments. He gives the sure word of God. And therefore, all the time, when you talk about the wilderness, what is the wilderness? Wilderness is some harsh circumstances within our lives. They are problems that we may be able to experience. Wilderness is not a good place. It's not a comfortable place. And this is the moment for us to confirm. Confirm the word of God. So at this point, is an opportunity for us to confirm the word of God. Do the word of God match with my life? Is the word of God sure within my life? The second thing, uh, when you look at the word given during the crisis, Omba Mungu alitoa mane, alitoa neno lake wakati ambapo walikuwa wanapitia hali ngumu. When they were slaver, when they were under slavery in Egypt. What is the word of God that comes that go and do a blood sacrifice. Because through the blood sacrifice, you are going to do what? You are going to be set free. Kupitia the bill ambao mtaweza kutoa and the same thing that happens to us in our state of sin in our state of misery in our state of us being enemies of God God gave us Christ when you look at Romans chapter 5 from verse 6 to verse 11 in our old state God gave us Christ he gave us Christ so that we, what? we could be able to receive long life answers within the answer of Christ. <coughs> and therefore, also to Naona, that when they were in the midst of the Red Sea, when you look at um, Exodus chapter 16, wakati walikuwa wamefika pale Red Sea, there was no hope for them. And that is why when I be Moses age, ungetuacha tukufe misri. Bono umetuleta hapa, tuweze kuuliwa hapa. You could have left us to die in Egypt. Were there no enough graves in Egypt? When there is no hope, the sure word of God comes along. And anawambi age Moses, wait and look upon the salvation that God is going to bring upon you. Today. The third thing here to Naona, when they were in the midst of dying, 
Sorry, this is uh, chapter 14, verses 1 to 20. When they were in the midst of dying. Because of what? Because of hunger. They had nothing to eat. They had no water to drink. The food ambao waliko metoka nayo Egypt, ilikuwa mefanya nini? Ilikuwa meinaisha. And therefore, at this time, when you look at uh, the book of Exodus, he gave them manna. He gave them quail. What was the reason of that? And I say my thing, that through the manna and through the quail, you are going to see the glory of God. You are going to understand that it's God who provides for you. In the morning, you are going to understand that, that it's God who provides for us. In the evening, we are going to see the glory of God. Because God, I meant to, I meant to foresee throughout the day. We have seen another day. And also, to Naona, on the seventh day, you are to take, uh, on the sixth day, you are to take twice the portion. For what? It's a blessing. A blessing of the Sabbath that we are able to do what? We are able to experience. And therefore, it's very important for us, even as during this time, this is the most critical uh, time for us to confirm the word of God. That is the stream of the word of God. And lastly, when you look at the word given in the future, what is the word of God that has been given in the future? Last week we looked at a very important part. This is what God tells us. That you are my chosen people. You are a holy nation. And also you are a people belonging to God. You have been set apart. God ameza kufanya nini? Ameza kutu, kutuweka mahali ambapo. Ameza kututumia kwa kazi yake. And therefore, even Farao, when you look at Farao, even though he was so powerful, he could not stop it. To Nona, even the works that rises in the river Jordan. To Nona, even in the walls of Jericho, they could not stop. They could not block. No one can block this. Hakuna mtu naeza zuia. No one can be able to block it. It didn't matter how powerful Pharaoh was. God had that after, after 400 years, I'm going to deliver you from the slavery in Egypt. And I'm going to take you to the promised land. So the Red Sea was not an obstacle. It could not block the word or the future word of God. The walls of Jericho, even though Zilikuwa Zimekuwa fortified, as in a block, we need to confirm this. The sure word of God is in our lives. In the midst of problems that we may be able to experience, in the midst of crisis, and also in the future, because of what? We don't know the future. You don't know the future. And therefore, our future lies in the hands of who? In the hands of God. And therefore, it will mean to you. We need to completely enjoy this wonderful blessing that we have received. Because God and the party our day again. The word of God is something that controls is something that guides our lives. And therefore it's important for us. We need to enter fully. We need to confirm first. Confirm the word of God. 
even if the word of God hai much na life yako there is a time schedule for that god anasema ako with us that is the word of god but it may seem that because of the things that are happening within our lives we feel like god is not with us that is our wrong perception that is our wrong perception enter into this confirm the word of god today in all things that are happening in our lives and therefore the first thing that we see is that god gives his word to all people it doesn't matter who believers and unbelievers mungu anatoa maneno yake kwa kila mtu it doesn't matter whether you believe or not it doesn't matter it didn't matter who pharaoh was the word of god was constant it was very constant and therefore to know that age by age he delivered that word and uh, when you look even after come to slavery after being taken through uh being attacked by the philistine even uh, after we were taken as captives in babylon the same thing he was given it to one to all people it didn't matter whether you believe it or or not and therefore to honor that age by age that god he gives his word kila wakati mungu anatupa neno lake and uh, to honor what happens to an age without the word an age without the word is bound to do what is bound to fall into destruction that is what that is happening all the time so tunapoangalia wakati ambapo atushikili neno la Mungu hatuna budi ila kuangamia without exception we must fail so it doesn't matter how advanced we are it doesn't matter it doesn't matter whether we are a powerful nation it doesn't matter how much we have proceeded in terms of our technology what is constant is that if we fail to hold on to the word of god we are bound to face destruction we are bound to do that and uh, we are able to see egypt it was a very powerful nation it was a very innovative nation in terms of technology but they could not block the future word of god they couldn't with their great army they could not even after tunaona wame uh, farao amewaacha waende then anasema ai na tumeacha watu waende sitofanye nani anafanyia kazi anatuma soja waende tena and tunaona that they end up, they ended up perishing in the in the red sea and therefore tunaona that an age without the word tunaona that great spiritual problem is about to do what is about to take place there are great spiritual problems that are about to take place and uh, as for now when you look at uh, the countries ambazo they are so advanced ukiangalia kina US ukiangalia kina Europe those countries right now they don't have the gospel they are living their own lives and uh there is a kuna missionary or us alikuwa alikuwa that uh right now in the us people don't believe and uh 
seeing the zeal that Africans have towards God, it's something that really touches his heart. Because Ule story of God, you seek it. You have to live by yourself. That is what, what is important. And therefore, to know now what is happening, we are seeing so many things that are happening in the US and also in the European nations. So great things. Spiritual problems. Psychopathy. They could not be they cannot be able to stop that. And therefore, to know that they have entered a series of what? Darkness. They have entered a series of, of darkness. And uh, with that, is that they are not able to see. When you look at uh, 1 Corinthians, in a sermon, that the God of this age, he has blinded the eyes of the what? Of the unbelievers. So that they cannot be able to see the glory of God. And that's why, in their evil ways, or in their evil lifestyle, they want to appreciate the way they want to find a victim. Their evil deeds. When I find an enemy, when I uphold. So it's, it's like nothing. So nasty things in a happen, but it's like it's nothing. It's a way of life. And therefore, it's important for us that even up to this moment, God and at party and then what kill And that's why I don't want to be last week that you are my chosen people. Whether you believe it or not, you are my chosen, you are my chosen people. The second thing is that God has given to believers. This is the sure word of God. And uh, when you look at verse 1 to verse 17, it gives some laws, the commandments that we must be able to follow. What are the commandments? The love of God and the love of, of man. Kumpenda mungu na kumpenda nani? Wanadamu. And uh, Jesus Christ and Asema Adi, I've not come to abolish the laws of Moses, but what I've come to do is to do what? It's like to fortify them. And therefore, love the Lord your God. And then, love your neighbor as you love your, as you love yourself. It's a summary of the, of the Ten Commandments. When you look at the first five books, the first five laws, they are talking about love of who? Love of God. The other five, they are talking about what? The love of, the love of people. And therefore, it's very, very important for us to be able to fully incorporate this within our lives. And therefore, God has given us his word. I'm at Patia Nenolake. And Anathema, the first thing, uh, we, should, we should know not worship the idols. We need not to worship idols. Why? And in the leg, in chapter 4, verses 4, back and 5. Because I, the Lord, your God, I'm going to punish those people who engage in this. And I'm going to pass a curse to them, to the third and also to the fourth generation. When you talk about idols, it's putting our belief in other That is idol. An idol is something about to exalt higher than God. It can be your job. It can be your family. It can be money. 
Anything that you put above cos is an what? Is an idol. And therefore, what are we able to see in the midst of this? Is that we need to truly enter into the love of God. We really need to enter into the love of God. Our priority. Our priority must be what? Must be God. And our idea in uh, the fourth uh, testament is that you must keep the Sabbath holy. Or you must set yourself apart. In the same holy in Amanisha, to be able to be set what? Apart. So you must set yourself apart for the Sabbath. Why? Because through that, you are able to recognize the glory of God. You are able to understand the majesty of God. You are able to see the sovereignty of God within our lives. And therefore, it's very important for us. And to Naona, also, in the end of the year, in that in the midst of this, God, uh, when you look at verse uh, verse 20, Moses and Amambia, Moses said to people, do not be afraid. God has come to test you so that the fear of the Lord will be with you and keep you from sin. That the fear of God is going to be upon you. You are going to fear who? You are going to fear God. Why do we fear God? I need to move up and Because of the great love that he has for us and also of the great love that we have for him, we must be able to fear him. So we must be able to keep our lives into his accord. And to now even for believers, uh, we are not exception that Satan tries to make us not to align ourselves with that. And therefore, we need uh, to be very careful when you look at uh, First Peter chapter five. Uh, Peter and and here the church and uh, they are, you need to be strong and courageous because your enemy who is the devil is always what around. And therefore, you need to guard yourself. Efficiency, the full armor of God, it, it must take place within our lives. We must be able uh, to be in the stream of the word of God. We must be uh, in the stream of prayers. We must be uh, in the stream of worship all the time, 24 hours. We must be able to concentrate on God. Lastly, is the God given one is the God given word for for the posterity and uh, when you talk about the posterity we are talking about the future generation posterity is the next generation so God has set a word for that he has set a milestone for that. So that kunaweza kuwa na continuation ya wade yake. Not only today, but also in the next 100 years. Jesus Christ was here 2,000 years ago. But still, his word is flowing from one generation to the other. And that is how it's going to be. And therefore, it's very important for us to be able to understand. And who are these? <laughs> They are those people who have been set apart for special works. Just as what to laser for Malia. And uh, if I read Nikiesa uh, Kuangalia, uh, the previous scripture about this summer last week, this is what God and Ambia Moses. It's not that the word. The other universe is not my people. That's how. But I have chosen him. And I say my people. 
It's not that the word is not mine, but I have appointed you. Because you need to do something that is special. A special task. And uh, when uh, there was a wakati na nini na terrorist attack, especially in uh, 1998, kulikuwa na bomb blast. And uh, unako skia story is that Israel special force walikuja kufanya nini? Walikuja ku rescue watu. Why? Because at that time, I think that uh, maybe Kenya special force I were like uh, so empowered in dealing with those matters, and that is why it's known that Israel wali to a special force. Wow, wakufanya nini? Wakuje wasaidia. And that is the same thing that God is giving upon those people who have been set apart to you. And a mission. You have a special mission. And last week, I said that we need to enter into a point where we are able to, to understand fully what uh, is the mission about God and other to Patia. The special task that God has given unto us. And the honor that He has called us a spiritual what? Watchman. He has called us a spiritual what? Doctors. And we are his ambassador. And therefore, the first thing is that we must acknowledge the absolute power of God. We need to enter into the time of acknowledging the absolute power of God. And to an honor in all their unbelief. In a time, because of, of the thunder, when I say that at this point we don't want God to talk to us, we just want you to talk with us. Because we are afraid now that God, if God talks to us one on one, we are going to die. So we need to enter into that, acknowledging how powerful God is. That is the people who have been sent apart by God. So nothing that seems impossible in our eyes. Is able to deter God. Hakuna kitu ambao inakani ngumu waji katika maisha yetu. Neza zuwe ya mungu kufanya kazi yake. And those are the people that God is looking for. We need to enter inside of that. The other thing is also to remain in the flow of the world. To bathi katika mtiriko aneno na mungu. Those are people who have been set apart. Remaining in the flow of the world. And remaining in the flow of the world in Amani Shahajit. Totally believing in the word of God. Our Sunday message about Maskiza. I'm not the one who is giving the word. The words about Naskida throughout the week, the training messages, it's not Reverend Chu who is giving the word. We need to see the word of God inside of them. What is the word of God for me? We need to believe in that word. So remain in the flow of the word. And lastly, Fear the Lord and live inside of that. You must fear the Lord and live inside of that. And uh, when you say fear the Lord, is the love that we have to ask God. Upendo about to konao for more. Making the things of God to become our own things. In our conclusion,
just want to give three things. Uh, the first thing uh, that we are going to look at, when you look at our walk of faith, our walk of faith is very important. Maisha yetu ya imani ni jambo la maana sana. How we believe. How is our spiritual life? How is our spiritual attitude? And how is our spiritual vessel? It's very important. In the midst of our wilderness, in the midst of crisis, and also in the future, how is our spiritual life portrayed? And therefore, the first thing that we must be able to look at, I said it in the introduction, and I say it here. The flow of the word. The flow of what? The word. We must remain in the flow of the word. The Sunday message. Kuna watu ukiuliza hata tukitoka hapo ukiuliza nini tumesoma leo they can't tell you you know atasema ten commandments you right you need to hold on to one word kwa hizi vitu zote just hold on to one thing don't hold on to the things that mbona nimeandika hapa zote just hold on to one single thing that you are going to pray with the whole of uh, this week also kwa wale ambao tunaenda training you need to hold on to an important thing that you can be able to do what you can be able to pray with therefore our walk of faith is equal to what uh, the flow of the word how our life is uh, streamlined with the word of god the second thing is how the word is fulfilled how the word of god is what is fulfilled the fulfillment of the word of god this is equivalent to what our walk of faith jinsi ambavyo tunaona neno la mungu linatimizwa na jinsi ambavyo tunashikilia neno la mungu inajenga safari yetu ya imani it builds what am i saying we need to totally believe in the word of god totally believe in the word of god that's all so let us totally believe in the word of that is what i mean here because if we believe in the word of god we are going to see how god fulfills his word in the times of problems we are going to see in the times of crisis we are able to see that because of what god is with us because of what he is with us with his power and i told you uh when you look at uh, exodus and i'm going to and i'm going to moses that do not be afraid because I'm going to do what I'm going to be with you. So don't be afraid of Pharaoh. Don't be afraid of uh, the Egyptian army. I'm always with you. And therefore to today and also throughout the week, may be able to enter to a bad point. May the gospel be fully imprinted within our lives. May we be able to believe in the power of the gospel. Because what? The gospel is the power of hope. May everything that we do be centered within Christ. So let's pray. Our dear loving Father, we thank you. We are greatly humbled, God, with how much you love us. You have set us apart, God, for uh, a special task force that, Lord, you may be able to stand with you as uh, your watchman, as your doctor, and also as your ambassador. May you provide Uh, the conviction within our lives that Lord may be able to fix and also to make heavenly father your things and also your plans 
become ours. May we be able to see you when you are time staging in advance and in advance. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.